Recently, I have received an email in my Google Play console inbox regarding the third party SDKs what we use in our Android apps. Thought this is very important and useful for all of us, means all the Android app developers like me, who uses third party products and services to enable key functionality in their apps. So, in this video, I am going to explain how to choose the third party SDK. Is that SDK safe to use in your app? Or will it cause your app to violate Google Play policy? And how can you make use of Google Play SDK index to select the most used commercial SDKs? So let's get to the point. Hello friends, welcome back to IRECA Tech Solutions. In the mail, it is mentioned, get information about widely used commercial SDKs on Google Play to help you decide whether to adopt, keep or remove an SDK from your app. In our apps, most of the times we will be using third party SDKs other than the Android SDK to enable some key features. But how to decide whether that particular SDK is not deprecated or it is not suspended or it is not violating Google Play policy? Because if your app is using an SDK version that may cause your app to be non-compliant with Google Play's developer program policies, new app releases using that SDK version can be rejected. And also, if that SDK is outdated or has critical issues, you will receive a warning that may require further action. For example, safety net library. It was deprecated and when I was trying to update my app in Google Play Console, it was showing a warning regarding the library usage. So I had to take care of this library in my app. So to avoid such scenarios, we should be using Google Play SDK index to see whether that SDK is registered in Google Play SDK console or not. Because by registering, the provider of that SDK has accepted the Google Play SDK console terms of service, which includes a commitment that their SDKs will not cause apps to violate Google Play policies. So as a Google Play developer, it is your responsibility to ensure that any SDKs you are using do not cause you to be in a violation of Google Play policy. So before using any third party SDK, first check whether that SDK is registered or not in Google Play SDK console. Here you can search with your SDK's name or SDK provider name or Maven ID or you can select the SDK based on your app functionality and make a choice. See here there are so many ads SDKs which you can integrate in your app for advertising and monetization. And if you see here, some SDKs are registered in Google Play SDK console and some are not yet registered. So try to use only registered SDKs to keep you safe from Google Play policy violation. For example, if you are using Unity Ads SDK, see this is registered means it is safe to use. And also Google Mobile Ads SDK which I am using in my apps also safe. And when you select the SDK, you can see all the information about the SDK. Maven ID, SDK version number, the target and minimum API level that it supports and the usage of the SDK based on its version numbers. So this way you can choose the SDKs wisely using Google Play SDK console to keep your app compliant with Google Play developer program policy. Hope this video was helpful for you to choose the SDKs used in your app and make informed choices with Google Play SDK index console. If you like this information, please like, comment and subscribe to IRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.